a half a million dairy cows here in Idaho. Yes, that's right. There are more cows than people in Idaho. These cows produce more than 7 million tons of manure per year. And as we can imagine, this manure in great abundance can be a large environmental pollutant. Can you imagine if we could use this manure to make plastic? Well, in our lab, we are creating bioplastic from this dairy manure utilizing bacteria. The, the bioplastic that we are producing is called BHA, which is naturally accumulated by certain bacteria when they have had an excess amount of food. So just like us humans, when we eat a lot of food, we start storing fat in our bodies. So that's exactly what happens to bacteria. But instead of fat, they start storing this bioplastic. The BHA bioplastics have been commonly been produced utilizing pure bacteria and clean food like cornstarch. But this is a very expensive process and it's hard for them to compete with synthetic plastic. But dairy manure is a great alternative because to feed the bacteria because it's free and it's also very rich in organic matter, which is exactly the type of carbon source that the bacteria need to store PHAs in their cells. So I study what these bacterial communities do, and specifically in the fish stage, which is when they convert the dairy fermented manure, uh, when they have been fed with this manure, and they convert the carbon in the manure into the bioplastic. So, and it's at this point where they, uh, these PHAs, which are the white granules in the picture that are within the cells, is when we can harvest this bioplastic. So my research is to find the key genes, metabolites, and proteins that are necessary for this bacteria to restore the most pH. because we want to maximize and increase the bioplastic production. This research is promising because it tackles multiple environmental problems at once. And it's also a solution that could satisfy environmental, social, and economic needs and demands. Thank you.